In the silence before the first dinosaur ever took a step, the world was already ruled by monsters. The continents were fused into one vast landmass, the air heavy with heat, and the sun blazed over endless deserts and swamps. The creatures that roamed this early Earth were unlike anything alive today, ancient prototypes in the long experiment of evolution. Among them walked one of the most fearsome predators that ever lived, a creature so massive and strange that it seemed almost fictional. Yet it was real, and its fossils tell the story of an age ruled not by reptiles, but by the first great land hunters' beasts that would vanish long before the dinosaurs rose to take their place. The world we are entering is the late Permian period, around 250 million years ago. Life on land was still new in evolutionary terms. Plants had begun forming forests of towering conifers and seed ferns. Giant dragonflies buzzed through the humid air. Reptiles, amphibians, and early synapsids, ancestors of mammals, shared the land in a delicate balance of competition. But beneath the blazing sun of this supercontinent, something far more powerful evolved. It was a predator built like no other, with a jaw lined with knife-like teeth, a massive skull, and a body that could crush bone and muscle alike. Scientists would later name it Gorgonops. To imagine it is to glimpse a fusion of reptile and mammal, a killer forged by the extremes of the Permian world. Gorgonops stood as the apex predator of its age, a creature nearly 10 feet long with saber-like canine teeth that could reach several inches in length. Its head was large and triangular, its eyes forward-facing, granting the depth perception of a hunter. It belonged to a group called the Rhapsids proto-mammals that bridged the evolutionary gap between reptiles and mammals. Unlike cold-blooded reptiles, Gorgonops may have been warm-blooded, able to move swiftly even in cooler conditions. Its body was covered not in scales but in a leathery hide, possibly even primitive fur. It hunted the dominant herbivores of its time, creatures such as dicynodonts and pereosaurs, stocky, armored plant eaters that fed on the lush Permian flora. Where these herds grazed, Gorgonops followed, the shadow of death in a world without dinosaurs. To understand why Gorgonops was so deadly, we must look at how life itself had changed by this point in history. The Carboniferous, before it had been a world of amphibians and swamp creatures, confined largely to water. But in the Permian, animals learned to master dry land. Stronger lungs, tougher skin, and internal fertilization freed them from dependence on water for reproduction. For the first time, ecosystems stretched deep into the continents. Gorgonops and its kind were among the first predators fully adapted to life on land. Their muscles were anchored by sturdy backbones and rib cages that allowed deep breathing. Their limbs extended vertically beneath the body, not sprawled to the sides like lizards, allowing them to run swiftly and efficiently. These were not sluggish reptiles. They were the first true pursuit predators on Earth. Imagine a Permian plain at dusk. The air is thick and hot, the wind carrying the scent of resin and dust. Herds of herbivorous dicynodonts graze among the low trees. Suddenly, silence falls. From behind a rocky ridge, a shape moves low, powerful, fluid. Gorgonops approaches, its eyes catching the fading light, its nostrils flaring for scent. With a sudden burst of speed, it charges, muscles driving it forward. Its jaws open wide, revealing canines as long as a man's fingers. In one strike, it bites deep into flesh. The victim collapses, and the predator pulls back, blood darkening the sand. The kill is swift and brutal. This was how the Permian world functioned predators and prey, locked in an ancient struggle that predated the dinosaurs by tens of millions of years. For decades, scientists puzzled over where Gorgonops fit in the grand tree of life. It looked reptilian in many ways, its stance, its teeth, its scales, but deeper study revealed something more complex. Inside its skull were features closer to mammals, a differentiated jaw joint, forward-facing eyes, and even hints of whisker pits. Its brain case was larger than most reptiles of its time, suggesting a more active metabolism and possibly more complex behavior. In evolutionary terms, Gorgonops and its relatives were our distant cousins, members of a branch that would eventually lead to mammals. When we trace the lineage of humanity back through deep time, we pass through the shadows of beasts like Gorgonops, the nightmare predators that cleared the path for the rise of mammals long after their own extinction. But Gorgonops' reign did not last. The Permian world was unstable. The supercontinent Pangaea spanned from pole to pole, creating vast interior deserts where temperatures swung between searing days and freezing nights. Volcanic eruptions poisoned the air with ash and carbon dioxide. 
Oceans began to stagnate, their oxygen levels falling. Ecosystems strained under pressure. Then, around 252 million years ago, disaster struck the greatest mass extinction in Earth's history. Known today as the Great Dying, it wiped out over 90% of marine species and 70% of life on land. The world grew silent as forests collapsed, rivers dried, and the air filled with volcanic haze. The mighty Gorgonops vanished with it. In a geological blink, the rulers of the land were gone. What caused this apocalypse is still a subject of study. Evidence points to massive volcanic eruptions in what is now Siberia. These eruptions poured lava and toxic gases into the atmosphere for millions of years, raising global temperatures and triggering acid rain. The oceans turned acidic and lost oxygen, suffocating marine life. On land, plants withered, and the food chains that sustained Gorgonops collapsed. Even the most powerful predator cannot survive when prey vanishes and the air becomes poison. Fossil beds across South Africa and Russia record this cataclysm in vivid detail. Layers of ash, collapsed burrows, and skeletons preserved mid-motion, as if caught in the moment of extinction. Yet the story of Gorgonops is not just about death. It is about transformation. From its ashes rose new kinds of life creatures that inherited the traits of the therapsids and refined them. In the Triassic that followed, small, agile synapsids survived and diversified. Their descendants would evolve into the first true mammals. The warmth in our blood, the complexity of our jaws, the endurance of our muscles all trace their roots to ancestors that lived under the shadow of beasts like Gorgonops. The nightmare predator that once stalked the Permian was both destroyer and teacher, shaping the path evolution would follow. Paleontologists uncovering Gorgonops fossils today find more than bones. They find evidence of behavior, of interaction, of ecology. Fossilized skulls show bite marks from battles with rivals. Broken teeth reveal how hard they bit into armored prey. Some skeletons lie near those of herbivores, perhaps marking the site of an ambush frozen in time. Burrows nearby hint that smaller synapsids may have scavenged their kills or even taken shelter from them. Each discovery paints a fuller picture of the world before dinosaurs, a time when evolution experimented boldly with body design and survival strategy. When we look at Gorgonops through a modern lens, it challenges our sense of what mammals and reptiles are. Evolution is not a series of sharp boundaries but a continuum, each stage carrying echoes of what came before. The sabers of Gorgonops anticipate the fangs of saber-toothed cats millions of years later. Its pursuit hunting foreshadows the strategies of wolves and lions. Its warm-blooded metabolism hints at the energy demands that would define mammals. Even extinction itself plays a role. It clears ecological space for the next great phase of life. The nightmare predator of the Permian may have died, but its influence shaped every predator that followed. In museums, the skull of Gorgonops commands attention. Its canines curve downward in a perfect arc. The bones around the jaw show muscle attachments that would have made its bite devastating. Behind the display glass, it looks alien yet oddly familiar. That familiarity is the echo of shared ancestry. The same evolutionary lineage that produced this predator also produced us. We are distant reflections of those early experiments, molded by the same forces of adaptation, survival, and change. Gorgonops was not an aberration, it was a necessary step in the unfolding of life's story. The environment it lived in also reveals much about Earth's past. Fossil soils from the Permian show alternating wet and dry seasons, with floodplains that turned to dust under heat. Rivers carve channels through red sandstone, leaving behind ripple marks that still record ancient rain. Within these sediments lie the bones of entire ecosystems. Paleontologists can trace how climate pushed species to their limits long before human industry ever altered the planet. Gorgonops lived through times of stress and instability, and in studying it, we gain insight into how life adapts or fails to adapt under extreme change. There is something almost cinematic in imagining this forgotten world. The landscape glows red under a low sunday. Massive conifers rise above fern thickets. Herds of pereosaurs move slowly through open clearings. Overhead, the air shimmers with heat. Then, from the rocks, emerges the hunter. Its head lowers, eyes narrow, muscles ripple beneath taut skin. For a moment, time folds, and we are there witnesses to a world that ended before the first dinosaur egg was laid. This is deep time made tangible, history written not in words but in bone and stone. When the dinosaurs finally appeared in the aftermath of the Permian extinction, 
they inherited a world shaped by Gorgonops and its kin. The lessons of warm-blooded metabolism, upright posture, and efficient predation had already been tested. The Permian Giants paved the evolutionary ground. Without them, the ecosystems that later supported dinosaurs, mammals, and eventually humans might never have existed. Every era stands upon the bones of the one before. Today, scientists continue to uncover new Gorgonops species, each revealing variations on the same deadly design. Some had longer skulls and larger fangs. Others were smaller, built for speed rather than power. Together, they represent a family of predators that dominated multiple continents. Their fossils appear across southern Africa, Russia, and even parts of China, proof that they were global rulers of their time. In their diversity lies a portrait of evolutionary success unmatched until the age of dinosaurs. And yet, for all their dominance, Gorgonops and its kin remind us how fragile power can be. The mightiest predators are still bound by the same laws of nature as their prey. When the environment collapses, even the strongest fall, the great dying erase their world almost overnight, a sobering reminder that evolution is not progress but persistence. The survivors are not always the fiercest but the most adaptable. From the ruins of their empire, small, resilient creatures rose, and from those survivors, the future unfolded. To imagine the last Gorgonops is to see both tragedy and continuity. Perhaps it walked across a drying riverbed, the air thick with volcanic ash, searching for prey that no longer came. Perhaps it stood at the edge of a withering forest, its senses dulled by hunger, its strength fading. The world it ruled was ending, yet even as it fell, life prepared to begin again. Evolution never stops. It shifts, transforms, and rebuilds. What we call extinction is only the end of one verse in the Song of Life. When we look at that skull today, polished and displayed in quiet museum light, we are looking at the face of survival and loss intertwined. The nightmarish beast older than dinosaurs is not only a symbol of prehistoric terror, it is a monument to endurance, a reminder that even in catastrophe, life finds new paths. The same heat that destroyed its world once forged the minerals that preserved its bones. The same pressures that ended its kind opened the door for ours. Deep time is full of such paradoxes, death birthing, renewal, destruction, shaping creation. The fossils of Gorgonops whispered to us from 250 million years ago. The earth was once stranger, harsher, and more magnificent than we can imagine. Its rulers were not reptiles or mammals, but something in between a lineage that burned brightly and vanished too soon. They remind us that we too are temporary kings in an unfinished story, living in the wake of giants who ruled before memory began. The nightmarish beast older than dinosaurs has long been silent, but its legacy still moves in every heartbeat, every breath, and every step of the creatures that came after.